Hello and welcome back to What the Math. Today we'll be talking about exponents and exponential notations. This is also from chapter one in your math studies book. So let's dive right into it and let's start with a little bit of vocabulary. So remember that a number, an actual number in the exponents is always called a base. So this is a base and the thing that you have on top of the base, uh, so the actual exponent, this is what we call power or exponent. Sometimes it's also called index or indices if, if there's many of them. So this is an exponent. So for example, if I were to take a look at seven to the power of five, seven here is the base and five here is the power or the index or the exponent. So that sounds pretty simple and basically this is the vocabulary you need for this particular unit. Now let's talk a little bit more about exponents. Now you should be already familiar with this. So basically if you have two times two times three times three times three, this can also be rewritten as two squared times three cubed. So you have your bases right here and then you have your exponents or indices or powers right here. What you might have forgotten though is how to call these things. How do you call these numbers? So for example, if you have this, this is uh, what we call a square. So a two square or two to the power of two. Two to the power of two. When you have three, we call it a cube. Or you can also say two to the power of three to the power of three. You can also say to the third power. That's also fine. Then when you have four and above, that's when I usually just start saying to the power of four or to the fourth power. So you don't actually call it quad or anything like that. You just say to the power of four. And that's really how we call powers and exponents. All right, let's talk about something else. Now, since IB is really tricky, sometimes you get negative powers. So for example, what if you get a to the power of negative two? which is also, you can call it negative square, but usually we just say negative two. And how would you, how would you try to analyze this? How would you rewrite this? So essentially, whenever you have a negative uh, exponent or negative power, all this means is that it's basically the same as having one divided by eight squared. So essentially this negative exponent just means one over something. In other words, let's just look at another example. Uh, let's just say 30, to the negative power of 30. So what do you think this is? This will be one over 30 to the power of 30. So essentially just one over X. On the IB exam, you may actually see the mixture of two. So you might see something like this. So A to the power of two times four to the power of four times two to the power of six. And it will actually ask you to combine and find the final result. So what do we do when we have uh, several exponents together when they're multiplied? Well, basically what you do is you have to add them up. In other words, what you'll get is this plus this plus this. But don't get tricked. As you can see here, we have we actually have different bases. Even though there's one common base, you still have to convert these. So let's convert these first. So what is an eight? Well, eight can also be rewritten as two cubed, two times two times two. And then four can be rewritten as two squared. And so basically what you get is two, two cubed. So that's three times minus two times two, two times four times two to the power of six. So as you can see, these powers are now right here. So you have to multiply them by the uh, previous exponent. And what you'll get as a result, two to the power of minus six times two to the power of eight times two to the power of six, which equals two two to the power of minus six plus eight, I'm gonna put this in brackets, plus six. And these two sixes cancel out because minus six plus six is zero. And what you get in the end is two to the power of eight. 
And that's essentially how you deal with exponents when you have to add them up, when you, when you have to uh, cross multiply negative and positive exponents. All right, let's talk about how to do this on a calculator. Uh, so let's take a look at example eight from page 25 in chapter one. And this is it. Basically, you have two cubed times three to the power of four times 11 squared. So um, here we have to try to use a calculator to find a natural number, essentially a number. So let's take a look at TI-84 plus Silver Edition. So this is my simulated TI-84. You can see there's a key press history button button thingy here that will show you what keys I'm pressing. Basically, turn it on, press the on button. You'll have something like this uh, window that looks kind of like that. If you don't have this, click second and then quit, which is actually a mode button. Uh, but in blue, it says quit here. And this will bring you to this empty uh, window thingy. So let's press the necessary key. So first is two. And in order for you to enter exponent, you have to click on this little roofy thingy. Uh, so this, and it will bring up exponent. Now three, so this is two cubed. Now we have to click on the right just to bring it back down. Because if you don't, if you don't click on the right, it will actually continue adding exponents. Now multiply it, multiply sign, uh, three to the power of four. And then, so if you can see, if I don't do this, see, it actually still adds the exponent. So you have to actually go back and do this. Oh no, oh no, no, no. No, don't do that. So sometimes you make a mistake. If you make a mistake, just go back and then multiply this by 11 to the power of two or 11 squared. Uh, if you have squares or cubes, you can actually enter them here as well. Uh, one of these buttons right here is a square. And it's actually the button right here. And this will give you square. So squares are usually quite easy to add. And then you just click enter. And this will give you your answer, which is 74,408. If you check in the book, it's actually the same answer. So this is how you can do this kind of a um, calculation on your TI-84 calculator on the exam as well. So just to kind of summarize everything, uh, this is the power button, so power four. Then you have to click on the right just to bring it back down. Then you can do squares with this button right here. And I forgot to add the multiplication sign. So I'm going to go back and add the multiplication sign. And then I have to rewrite this. And OK. And there you go. And so now I enter it and I get my answer. So 2 um, to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 squared is 400. All right. So that's it for this part. And that's it for the exponents. Hopefully it's a little bit more clear and in the next video I'll be talking more about how to use your calculator, how to use TI-84. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Good luck.